name is uh, Samuel uh, Hatiwa, and this is the Dr. Donner and uh, Dr. Dale lab here at the University of Miami, and I am a graduate student. My research currently uh, focuses on two different areas. Um, one of them deals with the development of carriers to deliver uh, genes into skeletal muscle cells for applications that can include um, DNA vaccination or treatment of different uh, muscular disorders. Um, my other line of research deals with the development of paper-based diagnostics be able to diagnose different types of diseases in the, the third world. So my research focuses on the development of paper-based uh, diagnostics for resource-poor settings. So for example, um, if I wanted to test to see if someone in a third world country and in a low-resource low setting has tuberculosis, this platform can, on a paper strip, you know, or a small piece of paper, can be used to uh, see if that individual has that disease or not. What I like about working in this lab is the freedom that we have to be able to cr come up with, to be able to create and uh, pursue our own ideas. I was born in Cali, Colombia. I was very interested in the arts when I was in high school. And during my last three years of high school, I was also the editorial cartoonist for our school newspaper. There were times when I seriously considered pursuing a career in the arts, but um, I realized after a while that, that I couldn't imagine making a career out of it. My father was diagnosed with um, a type of lymphoma, so he was diagnosed with cancer. Um, that really hit me hard, and it has, it has in part influenced um, my outlook on what it is that I'm doing. What fascinates me about the gene delivery research that I'm doing is the possibility to be able to address the current issues that are currently holding the field back, that are preventing it from progressing the way it could be progressing. And as far as the um, paper-based diagnostics, what fascinates me about that is simply the idea, the prospect of being able to take very uh, tedious, sometimes ex expensive um, ways of diagnosing people for different diseases and being able to bring them down onto the level of a paper strip or a piece of paper. So what you're going to do now is add some of this DNA to the cells and then incubate them um, overnight for the next couple of days. My goal is to be able to create new ideas, see them through, push the boundaries of science push the boundaries of what's already there to be able to address existing problems or emerging problems. I think my biggest uh, piece of advice for people who, young people, kids who are in school and they find that they really enjoy the sciences is to be proactive, try to look out for research opportunities, try to find a position in a lab See if you like doing research. See if it's the type of thing you might want to pursue.